I'm Mr. Ward, and today we're going to learn how to edit photos using Photopea. This is a great online photo editing tool. It's web-based, and allows you to edit in layers. It's a lot like Photoshop. Let's start by editing a photo. Go to pixabay.com. Pixabay is a great place to find royalty-free stock photos. Let's look for a puppy. Here's a cute dog. Right click on the image and hit copy image. Hit control V to paste. So that we don't lose our original, right click on the background layer and select duplicate layer. Now we have two. You can see by clicking on the eye, it changes the visibility of the layer. Since both layers are the same, we see no difference. Let's make some changes to layer one. Click on image, come to adjustments, and come down to hue and saturation. Move the dialog over so that you can make changes and see them. By adjusting saturation, you can change from a black and white photo to an oversaturated photo, where the reds are more red, the blues are more blue, and the greens are more green. Let's give it just a little more color. Click OK. Now by turning this layer on and off, you should see a slight change. Let's also adjust the amount of light. Under adjustments, take a look at exposure. Using gamma correction, you can make it as though there was more or less light at the time the photo was taken. Click OK. Now you can see more of a difference between the two. Small adjustments make a big difference. Feel free to play around with the other settings. Because these are stock photos, using auto tone, auto contrast, or auto color really won't make a whole lot of difference. But items like invert certainly will. If you want to undo a change, hit Control Z. Now let's crop this photo to make a profile pic. You can choose to set a fixed ratio of 1 to 1. This will give us a perfect square. Be sure to leave some room around the outsides in case the profile pic is turned into a circle later. Click the check or hit enter to make the crop. Using the Blur tool, we can set the size a little larger, move the hardness down to zero, and set the strength to 100%. Blurring out background items can give focus to the primary subject in the photo. To save your photo, click on File, come down to Export As, and select JPEG. You can adjust the quality and see the difference that it makes. You really lose some quality in the lower percentages, but somewhere around 70% you should be okay. If you need to make sure you're not losing any of the visual quality, you can raise it up to 100%, but you usually don't see a big difference. And click Save. You're now downloading this file from the internet. Click on Save File. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. Please like and subscribe to help others find this video. Remember, we don't say I can't, we say I haven't. I'm Mr. Ward. Keep reading.